Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And today I want to do a really quick video on taking a break and relaxing. Um, I've done a more in-depth video about this on About Face, but <clears throat> this one's just going to be real quick. So, a lot of times those of us who um, are quote-unquote workaholics or we just, those people who just really love um, what they do and their job, Sometimes you, you go, 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 and you don't leave any time to relax. And most people in the world have the opposite problem. Um, but so the point of today's video is just to remind you, like, you know, every once in a while, maybe every month or two, take some time to just blow off some steam in whatever way you see fit. And um, so before I go into some actionable steps, I'm going to give you a good quote from one of my favorite um, scientists. Uh, he's been on the History Channel, the Science Channel. Some people say he's the Einstein of our day. He is the co-founder of String Theory, and he's written several New York Times bestsellers, uh, including this really interesting one just recently about you know where the mind and, and science is going. His name is Machio Kaku. And um, his quote is this. He said, when I get bored or I get stuck on an equation, I like to go ice skating. But it makes you forget your problem. Then you can tackle the problem with fresh new insight. Einstein liked to play the violin to relax. Every physicist likes to have a pastime. Mine is ice skating. And so um, mine, even though I'm not a physicist, is video games and watching movies, right? Because I, at the very core of who I am, I believe that I am a storyteller. And that's a topic for a whole nother conversation. But because of that, when I relax, I still want to be ingrained in something. And so when I, ingrained in story. So when I um, engage in video games uh, or movies, I still get like uh, inspiration and, and um, I, I'm consuming like new ideas and new thoughts. And so for me, that's how I relax. Um, the only other way I relax is I do like to occasionally, I like to get physical too. So going to the gym and lifting some weights is always fun. Deadlift is like my favorite. Um, and also um, I like to go to the batting cages and just hit the shit out of the ball. It's always a good way to like relieve stress. But um so real quick I just wanted to to give some some items, some some action items uh, in no particular order. So one thing is instead of waiting until you like are go 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 so much that that you're so stressed out, what you should do is plan for um, for a time period and say at whatever interval, whatever interval works for you. Like I said, some people it may be a month, some, may, some people maybe it's two, maybe some people it's six. I know for me it's about every month or two. I really need to just decompress, take like a week off of everything and just do whatever I feel like I want to do. That gives me enough time to recharge, forget about everything else and just kind of clear my mind and then when I come back I'm like full of energy and this could be whether I'm at the gym or or whether it's um, I'm doing a writing project anything like that so um so one thing is think of a good time frame a good ebb and a flow right because our lives are kind of like um like your lungs you know they expand and you breathe and then when they get to that point where they have everything they need then they contract and then they expand and they contract and so if you can better time those expansions and contractions in your own life, it'll make things easier. The other thing that I like to do is um, I like to like laser beam focus on things. I used to not do this and I had a problem with finishing anything. But ever since I took this on, maybe this will be a good topic for another video, but um, ever since I started focusing on one particular thing per month or per every two months, what it's allowed me to do is like go go th like drill through one thing until it's complete and then 
then I'm I'm spent from doing that part and then I can go to the next thing so for example um, I've been going really hard for like the last two months I'm right about at the two months period um, on my first ebook and it's really close to being done so once that's published in the next few weeks I'm going to take that part push it off to the side and not think about it for a while while I transition over to some new aspect um, and you know I've been debating like um, I have two novels that are you know need to be edited so maybe I'll go into one of those and start doing that or maybe I'll take on some other project the point is is like you know they're wildly different from what I was doing over here the other thing is if I wanted to go really crazy I could do something that that was completely like not even writing related um, but uh, that's all me now you gotta think okay so what could you do and I was just trying to use myself as an example but um, what are some things you could do where this month you're focusing on this one goal when it's done you're gonna allow yourself to relax another great thing that I, that I do um, and I shouldn't say me like lots of people do this is like so one month I will focus on strength training right then when the next month comes or the next month and a half comes I I don't do strength training anymore and I switch over to either hypertrophy for those of you that know what that kind of training is or intensity and um and you know what it does is it allows me to focus on specific goals for that particular month to month and a half time period where I can really get gains in that area and then right around that time frame is when my body starts to plateau and so if when I hit those markers I know okay it's been about six weeks it's time to switch over I switch over and I continually get strength gains and and you know all the things that I'm looking for all the things that, that motivate me to keep going on so um so you know those are just ideas to get to get the juices flowing in your mind to like what could you do so the action step for today is to just think about you know what is it that you could do one to relax what are the things you like to do and then what is a reasonable time frame that you could set for your expansions and contractions and then lastly um what in the next i don't know two to three iterations could you set as primary goals to focus on so you know that this month and next month you're working on project x and then after that you're going to work on project y so that you can complete one and then leave it alone for for a while you know but um so hopefully this has been helpful in some manner shape or form and um, if you want more information like this then please feel free to catch me in some of my other videos but until next time take it easy